and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today we're talking about the top 10 most evil animals to ever exist. These animals range from classic pond side pests to total savage serial killers. Before we get into this video, let me know if you think it's possible for an animal to be evil. I'm not totally sure, like I know that they know right from wrong by and large, but can they be evil? Questions. Questions. Coming in at number 10, we have Mr. Asbo the Swan. Mr. Asbo is the name given to a very aggressive swan on the River Cam in Cambridge. Shout out. Now, this swan was actually given an Asbo, something usually reserved for rowdy and aggressive humans. The swan attacked numerous rowers and revelers all along the river. He would peck people, fly at vessels, and even capsized a boat. His spate of attacks started happening in 2009 and continued until he was relocated to a quiet area of the river in 2015. Another animal with an asbo at number 9, we have Rocky the cat. While I strongly uphold that pretty much all cats are evil, Rocky has been loud and proud in showing it. He has gained notoriety in his area in Rotherham, UK by biting and scratching people and also by entering homes and aggressively refusing to leave. Rocky's shocked owner refuses to believe that her cat is a menace. She said, the council told me to lock him indoors, I think that's extremely cruel. He's a cat and wants to be outside. Neighbours in the area now stay away from the aggressive kitty. Coming into number 8, we have a terrorist pheasant. A terrorist pheasant went on a rampage in Hale Weston in Cambridgeshire, UK. It caused pandemonium by attacking vehicles. Eyewitness Anne Marie Hamilton described the male bird as a complete lunatic. I feel so partridge right now. Mrs. Hamilton said, He really has been terrorising us. He chased my Jack Russell. Ooh, chasing. Another nearby family were also terrorised by the bird and took to keeping a badminton racket on them at all times. Sure. We have a decidedly vicious fox at number 7. In July 2015, a malicious fox trapped 8 people inside a pub for 3 hours and then stalked them from the car park. The fox caused a spate of panic at the Alconbury Sports Centre in Cambridgeshire, UK, with revellers hiding from the furry fiend. I guess this is the third time I've mentioned Cambridgeshire, England, and maybe animals are just kind of evil there. I'm from there and I'm not evil, allegedly. Club chairman Bruce Stain said, None of us could get out. We tried to use a side door. The fox heard it and came tearing round there. One woman was bitten by the fox, another was knocked off his bike. When pest control was called, the fox circled the pest controller's car and even chased the man. Sadly, it didn't end well for the fox, who was later caught and killed. Oh, it's a rogue badger at number six. A badger went on a bloody rampage in Worcestershire, UK in 2003. Pam and Michael Fitzgerald were in bed when they heard a bizarre noise coming from the garage. When Michael went out to investigate, a badger slowly walked towards him and attacked him. This unfortunately left the man needing skin grafts. This same badger attacked a pub reveller and the team that rounded it up to capture him. In total, he drew blood from five people. Mike Weaver of the Badger Society said, I've been involved with badgers for 24 years now and I've never heard anything like this. Coming in at number five, really ramping it up a notch, we have Osama bin Laden the elephant. I mean, I am not sure what you expect when you call an elephant Osama bin Laden after the leader of terrorist cell Al Qaeda. Like, sure, call him what you want. Osama the Asian bull elephant went on a rampage in the village of Sontapur two years in a row from 2004. Osama the killer mammal trampled and gored 27 people to death. Good. Great. He also destroyed homes and crops. He needed to be stopped and stopped he was. Coming into number 4, we have Fred the Baboon. Fred the Baboon was known as a robber in Cape Town, South Africa. Fred was said to be at the forefront of a gang and attacked humans in his quest for food. He gained himself a reputation for raiding cars and assaulting tourists. Sadly, when he started getting aggressive, he was put down, even though his behaviour was encouraged by tourists. Humans, I guess we kind of suck. Coming into number 3, we have the Tassavo Man Eaters. Two mainless Tassavo lions were responsible for the deaths of 135 construction workers on the Kenyan Ugandan Railway over a period of six months in 1898. 
It wasn't a case of simply protecting their territory, these lions were straight up hunting humans stalking their camps. Now of course animals need to eat and sometimes I think do you know what good on them when they eat us. But in the lions cave where remains were discovered, a lot of their victims were found maimed but uneaten, it seemed like these lions were killing for sport. We have a mystery beast at number 2, we have the beast of Guavarden. The unidentified animal brutalised the French province of Guavarden from 1764 to 1767. It specifically attacked women and children and would ignore other animals. Now it is thought that the animal, which was described as a man eating grey wolf, was responsible for 210 attacks and 113 deaths. At the time, the Kingdom of France called for the death of the beast, and years of bloody terror were finally put to an end in June 1767 when it was shot. It's uncertain to this day exactly what the creature was, as eyewitnesses' accounts do vary, but it is suspected that it was a large wolf. Coming into number one, we have Gustav the Killer Croc. Gustav the Nile Giant is a serial killer in Burundi. Thought to be over 60 years old, this beast has survived human wars but waged some of his very own. He's said to weigh a ton and be about 25 feet long. In this time, he has killed 300 people all the way from the banks of the Ruzizi River to the shores of Lake Tangiaka. He doesn't just strike people on their own, <laughs> oh no, he's actually upturned boats, killed all of the passengers on board and just left their bodies floating in the water. Stay away, killer croc. I don't need you. So guys that was the top 10 evil animals out there. Do you think animals can be evil? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also let me know what your favourite animal is. Now I would say owls or elephants, although I've got to say Asama the elephant really has freaked me out here. Don't call elephants Asama, that's I think the main lesson to be learned here. Good, great. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, if you like this video make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend and stay subscribed for more top 10 lists. Bye.